a major shift in airlift planning, the Indian Air Force is expanding its multi-role transport aircraft tender to replace both AN-32 and some IL-76, pushing payload requirements into the 35 to 40 ton class. This opens the field for heavy contenders, like Japan's Kawasaki C-2 and the Airbus A400M. Set for an request for proposal in 2026, the revamped program aims to boost India's tactical and strategic mobility while streamlining logistics and strengthening rapid response capability across challenging terrains. In a major boost to India's precision strike capability, the Indian Air Force has committed to buying 400 Brahmos NG missiles, worth Rs 8,000 crore. Trials begin in 2026, with production expected by 2028. The lighter, stealthier Mach 3 NG variant will equip Tejas MK-1A, Rafale and Su-30 MKI, enabling high-tempo deep strike missions. With a manufacturing capacity of 100 missiles per year, India is set to meet both domestic needs and rising global demand, marking a decisive leap in indigenous air power. India has officially launched Mission Sudarshan Chakra, a futuristic air defense and offensive capability program aimed at shielding critical infrastructure and population centers. The initiative integrates modern missile defense, counter-drone and predictive warfare technologies amid rising threats, including Pakistan's recent remarks targeting Jamnagar refinery. A DRDO-led committee is preparing the detailed project report with funding secured under Defense CapEx. Built through Make in India and IDDM frameworks, the mission promises a robust, multi-layered national security shield by 2035. Russia has officially signaled its readiness to discuss the S-500 Promedy missile defense system with India, following the full deployment of the IAF's S-400 units. Engineered to counter hypersonic weapons, ballistic missiles and low-orbit satellites, the S-500 offers interception ranges up to 600 kilometers. Moscow is even proposing technology transfer, as DRDO and IAF teams have already received briefings. However, any potential deal could revive U.S. Katsa pressure, even as India weighs multiple global air defense options. India's DRDO is developing a new generation of AI-powered cruise missiles, capable of thinking, communicating, and coordinating in swarms. Under the Nirvana Swarm program, these missiles will select targets autonomously, resist jamming, navigate with terrain contour matching, and light detection and ranging, even without GPS designed to counter PLA Navy EW tactics, they ensure no duplicate strikes and maximum battlefield efficiency. With simulations already underway, live autonomy trials begin in 2027, potentially placing these intelligent weapons into service by 2032. India's fighter squadron strength may be lower than required, but the Air Force is pushing hard to keep its combat edge intact. At ANI's National Security Summit, Air Marshal Ashutosh Dixit revealed that the IAF is boosting simulator training to save flying hours and increasing sortie generation to six a day ensuring readiness for a medium-duration war. These smart workarounds are helping maintain proficiency and operational punch, while new jets like Tejas MK-1A, MK-2 and the AMCA are still on the way. Upgrades, better availability and advanced infrastructure are further strengthening overall preparedness. The Indian Air Force has firmly stated that no decision has been taken on acquiring Russia's Su-57 or the U.S.-made F-35, putting speculation to rest. Senior officials clarified that no procurement process has even begun, as the IAF remains committed to its existing modernization path, Tejas mk one MK-2, the AMCA program and major fleet upgrades. The Air Force emphasizes that future inductions will align with long-term indigenous capability goals, not external narratives. While open to next-generation technologies, the IAF says any future choice, including Su-57 or F-35, will depend on doctrine, affordability, interoperability, and strategic requirements. That's all for now. 
Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.